touch and we're igniting Setting fire to it all You know these flames ain't going out This building is burning to What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel It's gonna be my first video on the channel in forever But this is basically a new version of this channel It's just a previous channel I had and I decided to change the names and stuff With all that out of the way though I'd like to mention the sponsor of this video Rogue Energy. If you guys would like to cop some Rogue Energy, either use the link down below or the code right here on the screen. It'd be greatly appreciated as it would support me much further if you guys do wish to do so. Also, if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, if you guys enjoy this content, smash that like button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out any time that I upload. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start this channel right up. Alright boys, starting off the setup is my chair right here. It's just a basic chair. I have prices for everything in the setup right here on the bottom of the screen. And I'll have links down in the description for everything if you guys would like to purchase anything in my setup. Okay, but without further ado, let's get into it. So this right here is my chair. This comes from like Office Depot or Staples. I can't remember. I will find it though and get you guys a link to copy net if you guys want to. It's very comfortable. Just a basic gaming chair. To be honest though, I would order one off of Amazon that would be... A whole lot cheaper moving over here starting on this side of the room i have my tripod for my camera shout out to the new camera boys let's go let's go all right then we got a lamp right back here this really just helps keep natural lighting in my room basically i really do appreciate all the hard work that that light puts in for the videos moving right over there behind it is the sound panels they Kind of jacked up but they're on the wall basically now talking about the actual setup i'm running a triple monitor setup um i could be running a quad monitor setup but i just really don't feel that that's necessary for what my streaming and schoolwork and all that stuff so moving over to the monitors to start with i guess right in here my main gaming monitor is an aoc 27 inch 240 hertz uh curved ips panel this above it is a LG 29 inch 75 hertz ultra wide monitor. This is basically what I'm going to end up, I put Twitch on and stuff like that. Basically whenever I'm streaming, it's really great just to look up, just to see chat and stuff like that. Make it, makes it very beneficial um, for anything that I need to do or whatever. In between the two monitors is my Logitech C922. It's a pretty dope webcam, you know, has the 1080p 30fps, gets the job done. I do plan on hooking up my camera very soon. Again, shout out to the new camera boys. Right here in front of us, moving on over, is our Audio Technica AT2020 right there. Really dope uh, microphone, but if you have a lot of rack in your room, I really wouldn't recommend this mic. Like, I have to turn so many settings down. Just to make this thing like not pick up everything like it hears everything it's insane but i have a pop filter on it and i have this thing i forget what it's called but it's on a shock mount and it's mounted behind my monitors to have a little bit of cable management above the desk but that kind of all goes to waste eventually this is my 144 hertz 27 inch aoc monitor i use it just to match up with them to make them look kind of you know level or whatever it looks really nice i plan on buying another one of these and replacing the pc which i will get to in a second and i don't know when the fans are a different color i will fix that yeah in the next clip you see anyways this is my budget webcam uh i paid like 30 bucks for it on amazon it's a 1080p 30 fps webcam it makes a great side cam to be honest don't really bother me um but moving on down is my canon lens right there for my camera i have my apple watch it's a series 5 and then i have the uh ac remote I have two speakers right here with the subwoofer under the desk right here i'm rocking the ampro 2 with cherry mx browns this is a really good keyboard i'd highly recommend it let me get you guys a little sound test all right now that you guys get the sound test for the and pro 2 with cherry mx browns and key switch silencers this will run you right at about 160 bucks to comp this keyboard. Really good keyboard though. I really do like it. Moving on over to my glorious Model O. This is a really lightweight mouse. Uh, I really like it. You know, a lot of people use it. If you really have too much information you want on it or whatever, uh, you can really just Google the glorious Model O and it's there. I don't know a whole lot about it, but really lightweight. I just wish the software on my PC would work. I don't know why it doesn't, but 
yeah. Uh, on that, I have a mouse bungee, and my monitors are being supported by two different types of monitor stands. Uh, the bottom one that's holding up these two are triple monitor stands, just because when I buy another monitor, I don't want to have to buy another stand for it, you know. And this one is a one that you would use if you were to stack monitors. Now, to the mouse pad, right here is a HyperX, uh, just extended, extra large mouse pad, really dope. And I really do like it, so, you know, gets the job done, gives me plenty of room to really experience that hyperglide on the Glorious Model O, pretty crazy. But, moving over to the desk, right here. My desk is from Office Depot, I have a link down in the description, I recently got it. But if you do not want to take the time to build this thing, which it took, literally we spent like 4 hours building this, me and my mother, it was terrible. But the desk comes out really great, and there's so many more desks out there that you guys can find on Amazon and stuff. If you're just looking to spend a little bit more than I was, then that's what I'd recommend doing. Especially one that you can stand and sit at and play would be really a lot better for your needs. Now on over to the PC. As I said, I'd get those lights changed for you guys. This is what my PC is looking like. It's rocking a Ryzen 9 3900X with an RX 5700 XT, 32GB of 3600MHz RAM, and this thing is just crazy and bad to the bone all around. I, I really am planning on building a PC, another one for a streaming PC, but yeah, this thing is equipped with 9 fans currently. Let me get you guys a little bit of a different angle right there. It's pretty crazy though. I got a 750 watt power supply for those wondering, and uh... You know, I'm rocking the Asus Prime B550 Smart Wi-Fi board. Uh, that's pretty basically all you guys will need if you're just looking for a PC. Just remember right now, MSRP value and what you can get this PC for right now are truly thousands of dollars in difference. So, I would not recommend building this at this time, to be honest. Uh, so, I'd recommend, to be honest, if you're looking to get a PC right now, I would definitely just look into buying a pre-built, just because it's a lot easier for them to get their hands on GPUs somehow than it is for us. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty uh, crazy PC. 